And the crowd getting very excited and understandably what a performance from the left-hander from Antrim, Northern Ireland, who would have been disappointed Thank you. that he didn't Thank really you. do himself justice in his home event in Belfast a couple of weeks ago, but he certainly has done in that frame. But he's still got a match on his hands there, Alan. 4-3 up now on Rod Lawler. But he's netted himself a £5,000 bonus for that break, unless anyone else can match it. Well, Ding Jun Wee, he held back so that he knew that the crowd were going to go wild for that 147 break. So he held back. And it's the first one he's ever made. But he didn't play a good positional shot. Took the green on. Oh, and that was a nice kiss because he was coming round nicely onto the red. So 22 the difference. Yes, if I remember rightly, I think Mark Allen had a 1-4-6 break. One of the few players that had a 1-4-6. I think he's made a couple and I think one of them was here at the UK. We'll get confirmation of that. But he's made the maximum now. He'll be delighted to have that on his CV. Always a special moment, particularly at a tournament of this magnitude. Yeah, good pot. So now, well, One. I was about to say just needs a colour, but he may have to play the snooker. 23 points the lead, so the pink would be enough. And he could take it on and not play for the yellow. If it goes in, his opponent needs a snooker. Or he could keep the pressure on and play the snooker. His opponent would have to hit it, get it safe. Rod Lawler in the background there. He's just watched Alan compile the perfect break. Now having a butcher's at this one. Again, he played the positive shot there, Ross Muir. And this time it goes in. Should be enough to keep Seven. this match alive. Good pot. Well, just one snooker required. Rosmo, seven. Oh, nice kiss on the black. Yes, excellent kiss. Brown in a good place for snookers. If he can survive this long yellow for Ross Muir. Well, he's living dangerously. Playing at a speed like that. Could so easily have gone enough, knocked a ball in. Two. Well, that looks to be a snooker, but looks easy enough to come off the ball cushion. Yeah, could have done without the kiss on the black. And now 
good chance for Rossmuir. Wow, incredible. Should I got that one? Yeah, and he tried to make sure of it. Didn't play for the brown. So still one snooker required. If he goes at the green, every chance of the in off. And he caught it a touch thicker. Played the cannon to the green, so he needs the snooker here. Played the cannon to the brown, I should have said. Is there a gap for Rosmio? Don't think so. And the danger is that there's a good chance of the in off here if he catches it just a little bit too thin. It is only the one snooker required. It's close, but again, easy enough to hit. I don't think the enough is on into the green pocket. <coughs> I'm playing the swerve. And didn't want to bring the brown into play. That's an excellent shot from Ding Junhui. But again, I'd be surprised if you missed the green. Playing the swerve again. Ross Muir missed a relatively straightforward green a few minutes ago. He's hoping that won't come back to bite him on the proverbial. Twenty-seven the difference, twenty-five remaining.
Touch less pace and Muir might have been in bother. One of the longer frames of the match so far. Well, a little harder. That pink could have gone in. The green stubbornly refuses to fall for Ross Muir. Again, this is close. He's got the snooker. And again, it shouldn't be too difficult to come off the cushion. A touch of left hand side on the cue ball. But easy to get too much on, not enough on. Didn't play the pot, just played the green off the cushion, off the knuckle, trying to get the snooker. <coughs> well, that has put the brown into a good position there. Blue and pink, not too badly placed. Now, chance here. Not easy. But a chance to put this frame to bed. Missed it by a long way. That may have fluked the snooker. And it's a good one. Well, no raise of the hand, but well, he can just swerve round the black. If he keeps on missing, it's going to give Ding Jun Wee that confidence to try and leave a good snooker. Just short of pace.
Well, another chance of the snooker here if you can avoid the double kiss. This isn't far away. This isn't far away. Might be just an inch short. Of it. Short of pace, that is. Yeah, but pleased to see that blue go closer to the cushion. Ross Muir, just in case Ding Jim Wee does get the snooker. Wait for it. Well, wow. would you believe it? Well, he only just hit the green. That's so unfortunate. But the pace he's played it at, it does give it a chance for something to happen. So, that and changes things pretty radically. Dink can now win frame a match. And a free ball is called. And suddenly, the blue being pushed safe becomes more significant. Until now, that is. Yeah, good shot to knock the blue out, but he's going to need Three. another good shot here. And Ross can only watch on now and hope. And Ding Jun Wee misses this green because he'll be on the brown if it goes in. Anxious moments for the Scot. He should have put this frame to bed some time ago. Oh, that was a big bounce off that black cushion. Six. But I think he struck it too hard anyway. A little bit of adrenaline in the shot. In away, six. And a good safety. The frame right back in the balance. Fifteen between them now. He'll settle for that. He's got the snooker. Where's this going to finish? Could have been very fortunate there, Ding Jun Wee. Full ball snooker. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to finish? Well, that wasn't too bad a kiss because it was going close to that corner. Well, that was a missed chance, really. Should have got the snooker there. He had the insurance of the blue as well. Well, if the brown goes, he's got to rely upon Ding Jun Wee missing here. And I think it does. There's confirmation. Plenty of room. 
Now, where's the cue ball? He's not on the blue. So a similar type of shot to last time, and just try and drop the cue ball in behind the black, maybe. Engine way four. This time he's just a little heavy. Yeah, good attempt, but there's a chance here for the blue in this port corner pocket. And the cue ball will be coming back down towards that corner. Maybe try and get in behind the black at the same time. He only needs the blue to leave Ding needing snookers again. Oh, that was so close but put lots of side on the cue ball and didn't really need the side because that cue ball would have been coming back down towards the black. So chance for Ding Chun Wei. And in it goes. Now, Five. is he going to be on the pink? He is. Well, this is going to be so painful for Ross Muir. Yes, he had an he, easy green, didn't he? He did. He's had chances to put this frame away, and he's failed to take 11. them, and he's going to pay the ultimate price, not only in losing this frame, but the match with it. Ding Zhongwei gets eight over eight. the line in that lengthy eighth frame. A really unfortunate way for Ross Muir to bow out here at the Barbican, having been very competitive in the early stages, leading Ding by two frames to one, but it's the Chinese, the former two times champion here, who comes through with a five-frame burst in the end. He is through to the round of 32. Ding Zhongwei beating Ross Muir by six frames to two.